So here we are for the 2016-17 head-to-head quiz final, where roomies and rivals are preparing for the biggest challenge of their careers so far. It's the reigning champ and red-hot favourite Marlon Pack against the big man, Aidan Flint, who has towered above all of his opponents to set up the dream final, the final everybody wants to see. Now let's see what the rest of the lads have got to say on the morning of the big day. It's head to head final day, Bobby. Is it? Yeah, we're just asking the lads who they think is going to win. Who's in the final? What do you mean, who's in the final? Packy Flintney. Well done. Um, I'm going for Flintney. I can, they're definitely going to be uh, very competitive. I'm going to go for Marlon. Yeah, don't fall out on me, Flint Dog, but probably Marlon. The Germans have arrived. Can we just grab a quick word, please? Yes. yes. It is the day of the final of the head-to-head -head quiz. Yes. Thank you. That is, I'm amazed that's the first comment I've had on the suit. Yeah. It's the final of the head-to-head -head quiz. Marlon Pack versus Aidan Flint. Who do you think is going to win? Absolutely Marlon Pack. No, no. no way he can Aiden. lose this one. I tell you. No? no I think Aidan got to win this, for sure. You think Aidan? Yeah. I think you give Marlon a big header and then <laughs> finish finish him like like Joshua did with Klitschko to be fair <laughs> even though Pax is strong yeah. I fancy Flinty I think Flinty's got this one you know yeah I think so yeah Marlon definitely yeah don't know why but yeah no, I'll go with Marlon okay good man thank you <laughs> <laughs> alright boys how are them two in the final Marlon's a reigning champion um, yeah Aiden. must be some cheating going on well I think he's just got quite good like pub quiz sort of knowledge yeah, Marlon wins for me. Tell me, it's a head-to-head -head final day. Just wondered who you thought might win. Head-to-head -head final day? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what that means? Nope. I have no clue what it means. It's the quiz. Oh, it's the quiz. And who's in the final? You haven't been watching the videos? No. Oh, that's all good. since I lost, I stopped, I stopped watching. Okay. Uh, it's Marlon Pack against Aidan Flint. Definitely Marlon. Go on. Uh, First of all, what is he wearing? Have a look at that. Go on, get on camera. Oh, hang on, I'm the man behind the camera, so wow. spin that round. Okay. What do you think of the suit? It's fantastic. Yeah? It's not bad. I love the shoes though, the shoes, the shoes are the winner. And they match the, the belt as well, see? Very so, nice. Which I think is important. I like packs, I think I'm going to go with packs. And it makes you look better if you lose to the winner. Again. Good morning. Maggie. Who do you think is going to win the head-to-head -head quiz? What is it? Today? Marlon Pack or Aidan Flint? Not you. Uh, Marlon Pack. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll lock in my centre-half, I'll lock in Flinty. Yeah. Good man. I like that you've got that bond. Yeah, well, you know, I'll back him. Marlon Pack against Aidan Flint in the final of the players' quiz. Just wondered who you thought might win. Packy. Yeah, Marlon all day. Both of you? No hesitation? No hesitation. <laughs> no. Okay. I spoke to Flint and he's got about five words in his vocab. <laughs> Marlon all day. Yeah. Appreciate the time. Cheers. Thank you. Mark Little. Mark Little's gone. Just going to get a quick word with the gaffer. Wow. wow. Where are you going, mate? You look... Unbelievable, it's the best I've ever seen you looking. Thank you very much. It's my uh, official Bristol City final suit. I always wear any Bristol City final, head to head final, JPT final, head to head final. Nice. Just like tradition. Very nice. Um, so I just wanted to get your thoughts really on what you're expecting from the final. Well, to be honest, it's caused absolute carnage so far. I mean, Packy and Flinty are normally best mates, but for two weeks I haven't spoke to each other. I think Flinty scored. Um, the winner, obviously, against Barnsley. Packy refused to celebrate. They've been kicking each other in training. It's been horrible, and it's been really, really difficult to manage. How's that sort of affecting your preparations? Obviously, we've still got a game to go. Well, to be honest, Flinty's played every minute of every game, but I don't think I can play him. His head's gone. He can't concentrate about this quiz. I don't know what prize you're giving him, but uh, he's completely gone. He can't concentrate on his football. He can't. He's. he's bumping into things, he's walking down the corridor, he's nearly crashed his car the other day. Honestly, he's absolutely gone. Sorry about that, Catherine. It's a disgrace. We're not doing this anymore next season. Finished. Right. Um, just quick, I don't want to be cheeky, but can I just get a prediction from you? Oh, Marlon Pack is going to win it all day long. 
interesting stuff from Feyland, but I wonder how the bookies are calling it. Scotty? Well, it's an, it's an exciting weekend this weekend, not just for the last game of the season, but also the head-to-head. I've got Marlon Park, slight favourite, who beat Joe Bryan the last round, who's pretty brainy, mind, at 4-7. to seven. Flinty, who got a buy in the last round, sorry, Frankie Field in the last round. He's 94, and my personal favourite, I'm going for a nil-nil draw with these two, 72. Also got a little Scotty special, Flinty, to lose the quiz in a Bristol City question, 5-1. to one. Go and fill your boots. Aidan's not happy after the low blow at Brighton. Any response? Marlon, how do you hope in that odds-on favourite? Nine wins in a row. What's your success down to? Good food. Concentrating at school. Thanks, Thank Marlon. Cheers. Aidan. Aidan. Get a word, please. Worried about your Bristol City knowledge at any point? Rumours say you fixed the head-to-head draw. Is it true you and Marlon are no longer friends? No. 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 Well, Marlon, it's clear your rivalry with Aidan is pretty intense. Did you take it too far at the weekend? Um. I don't think so. Um, you got a big knock in the game. I think of Flint. This replay should be more conclusive. Painful one indeed. Me being a good friend that I am, I was just checking they're still there. Um, right place at the right time, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, see you, mate. Yeah. Oh, why? <laughs> He's supposed to be your best mate. That's twice now. <laughs> Has he ever beaten you at anything? No. He did get to love 15 before in a game of tennis. But I'll give him, he's a, he's a good competitor, he tries hard and I um, don't know. He needs to keep on trying hard because I, I can't see the day when he is going to beat me. To win back to back head to heads, what would that mean to you? It would mean everything. Uh, it would be the real pinnacle of my career. Thanks, Marlon. Good luck in the final. Cheers. Thank you. Aidan, last time you faced Marlon in the head-to-head -head quiz, you had a question to win it about Bristol City. You were asked who was the last City player before Sam Baldock to score 20 goals in a season. Do you remember what you said? Yeah, Brett Pittman. And the answer was? Mickey Maynard. Are you concerned about your Bristol City knowledge? Not at all. I've been revising. Ask me anything. OK. When were Bristol City formed? Uh, 1897. When did Bristol City reach their only FA Cup final? 1909. Losing to Man United 1-0. When was the club last in the top flight? 1980. When Bristol City won their record-breaking third Football League trophy in 2015, what was the attendance in the final? 72,315. Impressive stuff. Thanks, Aidan. Cheers. Marlon the Six Pack is targeting a second successive title and he got things started in round one with an impressive 9-7 victory over young goalkeeper Max O'Leary. After brushing Lee Tomlin aside, Pack was surprisingly taken to a tiebreak by Bobby Reid in the quarter-final stage. He faced more Bristolian competition in the semis with a rerun from Series 1, again ousting Joe the Brains Brian to book his place in today's showpiece final. Aidan Triple No Flint began this tournament in sketchy form, requiring a tiebreak to overcome Diego Di Girolamo in a tense first round encounter. He also edged past Adam Matthews before producing a dominant performance to power past Josh Brownhill towards a semi final clash with Frank Fielding. City's number one was unable to stop Flint from booking the dream final against his roomie. I'll set the standard. Home dressing room. Let's go. Oh boys! because I'm worth it. Must be love.
good time. Nothing less than love is the best. So far, um, I want to know your, your feedback on today's game. Astonishing. Aiden Vince scored a hat trick. I mean, I've seen it in training a lot of times. I'm thinking, but I can't remember on Money Ball. It's the Brad Pitt one, isn't it? Supporting act. See, he didn't play a big part in Wolf of Wall Street. I can't remember if he did. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Fuji's. Heathrow, Gatwick. Oh, it's hard to start to know. 
Who throws out which dumpster? Two no more. One. Two. Um. Come with four. Diego. Zach. Ivan. Two no more. He's played and he's gone alone. So you've got, got one. Then. What? Outball? Huh? Yeah, football league club. Oh, we're still at four anyway, so that matter. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is hard because I know one is not played for our first team. Is that, that doesn't count now. Not played for our first team was his first team member. been another dramatic year of quizzing. The 2016-17 head-to-head champion is Marlon Pack. Stop changing the name now to this quiz, Marlon Pack quiz. Marlon, many congratulations, double head-to-head -head quiz champion. How does this compare to the first? Uh, probably a little bit more sweeter, it being Aiden. Obviously, we, we live in each other's pockets. Um, to have the bragging rights over him again is always nice, but he's, he's been a fierce competitor. And um, hopefully one day, this may be his. Aiden, you've been gunning for your roommate all season in this quiz. Where do you feel the final got away from you in the end? Let's clear things up. My name's not Aiden, it's Flinty, right? <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm proud of Marlon, you know? I said before the final, this is the final we wanted. The people want it, we delivered. Whoever won this final didn't bother me. So I congratulate Marlon. And listen, victory. Mate, you're always a winner in my eyes. Thanks, mate. Safe to say the friendship's still very much intact? Yeah, um, something like this is, is not going to affect what we've got. Um, they're stronger than quiz champions. Um, I just think next on our list is the, uh, the City Foundation annual quiz winners. <laughs> and where I plucked that name from, I don't know. Aidan's not happy after the low blow at Brighton. Any response? Marlon, how'd you cope with being odds on favourite? Nine wins in a row. What's your success down to? Uh, it's a family secret, but I'm related to the, uh, the beast in the chase. Thanks, Marlon. Cheers.